it is very early and I am filming today so fortunately I've been given free parking this morning by the um, production that I'm filming with um, that's been nice <laughs> so I'm cutting you off um, but yes yeah, so I'm almost where I need to be so I'll say bye now um, but let's see if I can kind of subtly keep you with me without giving too much away. They're literally when anyone yeah, is from yeah. here. <laughs> Some people around, I didn't want to look like a freak, <laughs> but yes. So, um, day two of filming, as evidenced by day one, there wasn't really much opportunity to film anything, um, and because I was just on set all day. Um, I did about 15,000 steps that day, and um, I think that tells you how much I was on my feet. Um, yes, yeah, so I headed back down to the studio. Hopefully I get the opportunity for a nap today because I definitely need to be somewhere tonight. Anyway, I'm heading towards a busy road, so uh, I better say bye. Having a tea break. Had to act drunk. And I'm absolutely exhausted, so it kind of went itself, to itself, really. It is 10 to 4. So I think the tea break's going to be about 10 15 minutes. And then we'll um, probably get back onto it again. Still can't say what I'm doing. But when it comes out, I can let you know what it was. Yes, so uh, this is me right now. The setup. I've to close my eyes for about 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna catch some Z's. My little one else has gone out for a cup of tea, so when they come back, I'll probably be. I will probably be unconscious by the time everybody comes back. <laughs> Hello! It is currently five past five. I woke up at about three o'clock because um, I was on a night shoot last night and I got home at about, I think it was just before six o'clock in the morning. We were supposed to wrap at six actually, but we ended up finishing a bit earlier, which was quite nice. And driving home was just lovely because there was no traffic at all and we were filming in Leeds. Um, and Leeds traffic can be a nightmare sometimes. So um, I've just heated up a wheat bag to use on my lower back because I've got sciatica and my lower back is killing me. So um, it's not as bad as it was yesterday where I actually ended up calling my sister crying because I was in so much pain. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of resting this on my lower back and I'm trying to do some stretches to kind of sort everything out. And I'm on painkillers, so I'm just, I'm mainly sticking to Brufen. Um, but because obviously I was up all night filming, um, I did take some codeine with me so I could take some codeine when I got there because you can't drive when you're taking codeine. So I decided to drive there, take the codeine because it was something like 6pm to 6am so I took the codeine when I got there and then that sorted me out for the night. And then when I got home I was able just to take some brufen and go to bed. But yeah, so as I said, it's like... Well, it's coming up on ten past five now, and um, yeah, I got up at three o'clock. I slept from, uh, I probably went to sleep at about half six-ish, maybe seven-ish, and then just slept all the way through. Well, I say I slept all the way through. I think I woke up naturally at around 8, 39 ish because that's usually what time I wake up for work. But obviously I saw that what time it was, but I woke up then and just thought, nope, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Uh, so, um, it was really weird because I haven't done a night shoot in a very, very, very long time. It's definitely been a few years since I've done a night shoot. And when I first woke up, I just thought, oh, God, this feels weird. It 
I, f I always felt ill when I first woke up because I just wasn't used to that level of just the, the preparation in sleep when you're trying to go for a night shoot is really weird because basically I stayed up till about two or three o'clock the night before the night shoot um, so I could sleep in and that was when I and so the day of the night shoot I woke up at about 11 30 12 ish and then I didn't nap and I just um, I worked so the day of the night shoot I woke up at about midday and then I uh, had dinner because I well I had my breakfast which was what did I have for breakfast I have porridge or something and then I did a big plate of pasta before I left which was at about four ish and then I had to leave the house at about five to get to set for six p.m. and then obviously the wrap time was six in the morning and I. As I, as I just said, um, we ended up finishing a bit earlier, so I was home for about quarter past six. At which at point I went into bed. But it's one of those things that when you arrive for a night shoot, they do the day so that the first thing you eat is technically breakfast, even if it is like 6.30pm. So after having that huge plate of pasta about four-ish, at about quarter past six, 6.30pm, they had a breakfast on, so I had like half a full English <laughs> at like 6.30 and I was just thinking, because I knew that if I didn't eat anything, um, I would regret it. So I went and I got some, like um, some eggs, like some sausage and a hash brown and I think some mushrooms. So it wasn't like a full full English, but it was enough to kind of tie me over until lunch, which was at midnight. Yes, we had lunch at midnight exactly. Um, but it was really nice. I had chicken and mushrooms with like veggies and potatoes and stuff. There was a dessert, but I just was not in the mood for dessert at that point. I was just so full. Um, but yeah, so I didn't do anything. Um, I, d I just didn't have any time to like film anything because we would just seem to be on and off all the time. And then I must admit, I think my sleep preparation was quite good because I didn't actually feel tired until after the midnight lunch. Um, but I always get a bit sleepy after I've eaten, so it wasn't that weird. Um, we did realise that um, in some of the downtime, we did want we did actually play some games, which was actually quite fun. Um, we got a little because everybody's because I'm not quite sure how many there are of us, but um, the holding area basically it was like an indoor area and there was heat which was nice because obviously in the middle of the night it becomes freezing and there was a point when it started raining in the early hours of the morning and oh, sorry i've got the heat pack just on my lower back while i'm sitting down and it feels so good uh where was i oh yeah we had like a little holding area which had like it was like flamethrower heat. It was brilliant. They had like gas canisters and just, it was literally like a flame just coming at you. It was covered. <laughs> but we all joked that it kind of looked like a flamethrower. Or it, there, was some, there was somebody who even said it looked like a jet engine. Uh, but it was lovely. So it meant that whenever we were, because if, if you're doing a night shoot, it's quite likely going to be outside because it's the dark that they want. And so we were filming a lot outside. We were having to pretend we were in a club. Um, and we kept coming out of the club. But yeah, it was very cold. So I was wearing like two pairs of leggings. Because I've already done two days on this shoot. Um, so I already had been given a costume. And I was actually really glad that they hadn't put me in jeans actually. Because my lower back just completely gave up on me yesterday morning i say yesterday morning it was when i woke up <laughs> um it, it did give up on me though and i couldn't i was in so much pain trying to get out of bed 
I was crying, I was hurting so much, and I was trying to do gentle exercises, just kind of like ease it up, and I called my sister crying, saying, my lower back is hurting, my upper glutes are hurting, it's going down my leg, and she would just say, yeah, it sounds like you've got sciatica, and so she was encouraging me to have like a hot bath, and rub some like brufen onto my lower back, and take painkillers, so thank you to my sister Claire for <laughs> dealing with me, crying in pain at a um, but that's what's nice about having an, having nurses in the family. They can give you proper advice without you having to go to the docs. But I must admit, I think tomorrow, because um, on set they have like these little heat packs that you can like crack and it warms up. So I'm going to see if I can stop. I'm hoping like a petrol station has some, because I think I've seen them at petrol stations before. And I'm just going to think, I'm just going to grab a couple that I can just put on my lower back while I'm filming. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm going to go now. And hopefully, the next time you see me, I'm either getting ready to go to filming, or I might already be there. So we'll see. I'll see you later. So, on the way to set again. Just been loud into the posh car park, because the visitors car park was full. So, um... My car is definitely safe tonight. Anyway, I need to cross a road, so I'll see you in a second. It's been raining a lot up here, so there's lots of puddles, and I keep trying to basically get out of the way of the puddles before I get my costume soaked. But anyway, let's try and do this properly tonight. See ya. Oh, yeah, we're driving around slow. This is heaven right now. On a night shoe, it's freezing, and this is good when you go in. Thank you, fire. Hi right, guys, so it's like six o'clock in the morning. Just finished the night shoe. I'm exhausted, I'm gonna go to bed, so that's what I'm doing. Getting it in my sat nav to go home, and oh god, I look, I look ridiculous right now, but anyway, um, yeah, that's the end of the final night. See you.